Welcome to another tutorial on DaVinci Resolve. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can do a lightning effect similar to this. <laughs> the first thing you're going to want to do is search Google for lightning photographs and pick one that you want to use. Then you're going to load it into your image editing program. I'm using GIMP as it's free and open source but you can also use Photoshop. Then you're going to go to your magic wand tool make the selection go to edit go to copy and then you're going to paste it as a new image. Now you can go to your eraser tool and you can clean up the image a little bit if you want to. We're now going to go to File, Export, but make sure you export it as a PNG, as PNG support transparency, and that's what we need. You're now going to want to import your lightning bolt image into Resolve and whatever other video you want to use in your project. In my case, I've got this stormy surfing scene, which I've dragged to the timeline and I've duplicated onto another track. We're going to start by dragging the lightning bolt that we made in GIMP to the timeline and then we're going to resize it to however many frames we want. Like five or six frames should be fine. We're now going to scroll along the timeline and see exactly where we want to put the bolt of lightning. I think around here should be fine. So we drag the bolt to where we want it. And you can see we need to change the position. So we just go to the position in the inspector and we put it on the horizon there. That should look okay. We're now going to go to the effects and we're going to apply a solid colour. So we're going to drag that down onto the timeline. And we only want this for like one frame. Let's just zoom in there so we can see what's going on. In the inspector we're going to change the colour to white. And we're going to copy and paste that so that we have four copies. We're now going to spread these out evenly. And you can see that's kind of created a flash effect. But to make it more realistic, we're just going to change the opacity on each one. You can really select whatever values you want. Have a play around and see what you think looks best. And that looks a little more realistic. I wouldn't worry too much because it happens really fast on screen and you're not going to notice detail. We're now going to go to our video on the next track down and trim it so that the only part remaining is the section underneath our lightning effect. To trim it we press Ctrl B at the playhead position and delete the respective segments.
We're now going to adjust the levels of the clip in the color page. So let's just slide it out of the way a second, just so it's easier to see. So we go to the color page. And at the top of this line here, you're just going to drag it to the left. By doing this, it should enhance our lightning look. We're now going to drag our clip back. And we're going to cut out segments. We move the playhead and we use the control B again. We're now going to delete the segments under the white colour. I think that should make the lightning effect look a bit better. Let's have a look. One thing I think you'll agree on is we need some sound effects with that. So let's grab a lightning sound and line it up on the timeline with our action. Let's have a look at the result. I think that looks pretty cool, but I really encourage you to experiment with the various settings as I only made this very quick video for demonstration purposes. Have a play about and see what works for you. That's the end of this video, but please don't forget to comment and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next.